Hey yo, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to potentially get a release on spinning records. But before we do get into that, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Click that notification bell as well. We are so close to 50,000 subscribers. At 50,000 subscribers, I'm doing a big giveaway with MIDI keyboards, VSTs and gift cards. If you are already subscribed and you are back for another video, big up you. With all that being said, let's jump into the MacBook. So first of all, Tracklib. Tracklib is the only service where you can legally clear samples from real music, not a sample pack from other producers, actual real songs that you can sample. Tracklib is a subscription based website. You can get a monthly subscription for just $5.99 or you can use the link in the description below to start your free trial and you get 15 free tracks with that. So why am I telling you about Tracklib? So Tracklib have teamed up with Spinning Records and Fire Beats to host this competition that may land you with a release on Spinning Records. So as you should be able to see now, we are on the Tracklib website. This is the competition page. So how it works is basically Fire Beats have picked 10 samples from Tracklib that you have to use in your competition entry. Here are those tracks. Not in times alright tonight. Not a times, tonight, tonight, all right, all right, all right, all right. Can I get a little love? It's getting hard to find. Can I get a little love to ease my mind? That one's by Archie Thompson, released in 2015. And um, basically the BPM's there, the key is there, the genre is there. To my head turns gray, I'll be helping you make a way. It's a long, long way to the rock no more. So yeah, there's 10 tracks here that you can sample for your entry. I'm not going to go through them all. I'll leave the links in the description below. Um, here are the prizes. Your submission will get released on Spinning Records, a one year professional subscription to Tracklib, a meet and greet with Fire Beats, a shout out on Fire Beats socials, written feedback by Spinning and ARs, Spinning Records merchandise, and a featured article on Spinning Records. The nine runners up will receive a one year standard subscription on Tracklib. Getting a feature on spinning could really jumpstart your career. They've done so much for so many different artists over the years. But before you do get that far, you're going to have to make your track first. So that's what I'm going to do now. I think I'm going to go with this one here. Can I get a little love? To download the samples, you must be signed up to Tracklib. But don't worry about paying for it at the moment. With my link in the description below, it will give you 15 free tracks. So that will enable you to join this competition for free. So make sure you click that, sign up to Tracklib to download those tracks first. So as you should be able to see now, we are in Ableton. Obviously, you can use any door you feel like to make this track for the competition. And now we're going to have a here's one I made earlier type of moment. As you know, this is the sample we picked from the Fire Beats collection. Can I get a little love? It's getting hard to find. So I thought I'd just turn it into a nice little EDM dance tune. And Just My Look Sticks has just released his new pack as well. So I'm gonna use some of his pack to make this track. So we know the BPM and we know what key she is singing in. So I've made sure to put my song in the same key and made sure the vocals are on the same BPM. So this is the part I have used from the track. As you can see, I've chopped it up a fair bit. Can, can I, I get a little love? Can, can I, I, I get a little love? Added a fair bit of delay and reverb there using Valhalla. So as Tracklip has told us, her vocal is in A minor. So I have chosen A minor chord. That piano is Addictive Keys. I used a free demo. It's free. It's great to use. And then in the drop, I switched the piano up to a different melody. <laughs> then 
very very heavy with the side chain there in the sticks pack he has some um, cord loops as well some thick ones to beefen your project up so I have taken one of them and chopped that up to make it fit with our track I have just simply taken the bottom notes from the chord to use as the bass. That is a serum bass and I've just simply beefened it up using sausage fattener. A couple of effects as well. For the main drop as well, I have made an ambient type of sound using the, the sample from Tracklib just as a background undertone to fill out the track a little bit, make it sound a bit more solid, a bit more thick. Intro, I have used a percussion loop from Styx, some more effects and a drum fill. For the second part of the drop, um, there is another melody introduced. Just to give it a bit more dimension, I've added Pancake 2, so it goes from left to right in the speakers. In the second part as well, I reintroduced the sample from Tracklib. Drums, kick, snare, hat. So yeah, that's pretty much how far I have got with my track at the moment. It's just a nice loop. It obviously needs mastering and mixing. Some parts are loud, some parts need EQing. So before we listen to what the full track sounds like together, in my last video, I asked you guys to type in $1 drill in the comments below and you guys will get a shout out in my next video. This is my next video and here are the people that commented $1 drill. So big up those guys for commenting one dollar drill in my last video if you do want to shout out in my next video all you have to do is like this video right now and comment get me on spinning in the comments below that's it comment get me on spinning in the comments below and i'll give you a shout out in my next video so this is what my track is sounding like So that's what my track is sounding like so far. So let's just pretend it's finished and it's good to go and I'm very happy with it. It's mixed and mastered and I'm gonna submit it to Spinning Records. All I'd have to do is come here, connect with Spotify to send track. So all you have to do is drop your link to your track here, submit link and you are good to go. But please bear in mind the deadline day for this is the 9th of December. I'm recording this right now on the 1st of December. So there's not much time left. So yeah, that's it really. That's a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I wish all of you guys the best of luck at the competition if you do go forward and submit a track. Big up Tracklib as well for contacting me to let me know about their competition. I'll drop a link in the description below for my previous video where I run through the whole of their website. Thanks for visiting again. And really appreciate you guys for spending time here on the channel if you're not part of our discord make sure you join the link is in the description below we have over 600 people in there at the moment so don't be shy jump right in and with all that being said i'll see you guys in the next one